Another useful thing you can do with the axes and the tick marks for using the GCA and then we're accessing the Y axis and set media locator. So remember this function is very useful and you just need to remember it. What this allows you to do is set the maximum number of tick marks automatically. But what you can do is you can specify things such as whether you want to use integers or not. So here, for example, for the X axis over there, we said we don't want to use integers. So it would allow for decimals. So this is false integers. If we change that true, it will only use integers so if we go down over here and you can see for the for the x-axis we have integers over here that are set to false so that means it is using decimals whereas for the other one it's not now notice here we didn't specify this parameter is actually optional so over here this is optional for you but what you can do is if you set minimum number of tick marks let's say if you set that to 25 and if i were to run this over here notice here that because it needs 25 tick marks it has automatically added decimal in here so what we can do is we can take this integer false and we can add that over here and change this to true and if we now change this to true over here and we set 25 tick marks let's see what the effect is on the tick marks here for the y-axis the reason it's y-axis is because we selected y-axis here so if i were to run this over here by clicking the play button you can see that the effect of integer equals true over here has had no effect over here but if we change that to 20 over here now let's see what happens now and you can see that it's still adding in the decimals over here which is not what we want though if we reduce this to for them for 10 tick mark you can see that it has now changed this into integers only notice that there is no decimal place here so if we now change this to false over here and run this again notice here that the behavior of integer over here with false even though we have less tick marks is still very unreliable over here so what we can do is change this to a smaller number for number two and if we were to run this you can see here that the behavior again is unpredictable but if we remove this parameter over here and run this again and you can see the integer up parameter or argument here has no effect on the actual y-axis so this is a bit of a strange behavior that you need to be aware of but i want you to notice where it does have an effect so integer equals force over here and what you need to do is if you were to scroll down here and look at your x-axis you can see here we do have decimals in the numbers so if we go up here and change this to true and if we were to run this again, what you will see is now that we have changed this to true. And if we come down to our axes, you can see they are as expected. We don't want any decimal in them. So one thing to be sure about is when you do use this integer equals true, it will always give you integer. But if you mix it up with other arguments and parameters like we did, then you may end up with unexpected results.